and the uh, sequence for moving in from waypoint two to docking has begun. We're now inside uh, 20 meters from the International Space Station. This sequence, um, as we move in, uh, will take about four minutes until we get a contact and capture of the Dragon, bringing our four crew members inside Dragon back inside the International Space Station. Some of the calls you heard uh, uh, during this approach, uh, we of course have Mark Van High inside the International Space Station monitoring the approach. Of course, with the four crew members of the Dragon itself inside uh, watching the sequences here. The big loop you're hearing is a communications channel of the uh, space to ground communications as well as Dragon to ground. So all the all the communications you're hearing is being heard by uh, the ground teams here in Mission Control Houston as well as Mission Control in Hawthorne, and of course the crew inside Dragon as well as inside the International Space Station. We're now 15 meters in closing. Love to see this view of the Crew Dragon approaching the space station autonomously, driving itself. If you recall from the previous version of uh, Crew Dragon, excuse me, the previous version of Dragon, uh, the cargo capsules, uh, we they they dock to the station actually not by docking but by berthing, uh, which essentially required the robotic Canada arm to grapple the spacecraft and bring it to the station manually. Uh, so to see Crew Dragon, this upgraded version, flying uh, on its own without any assistance um, and able to dock autonomously with the space station is a, an awesome capability that's just so great to see with uh, our eyes here. Ten meters. Copy. Ten meters. At 10 meters away from this vantage point, uh, you see the Earth there in the lower left corner. We're now flying 262 statute miles over India. Great shot of the forward. Five meters. Great shot of the forward end of Crew Dragon there. Located near the top are the forward Draco thrusters, which of course are not be being utilized for today's maneuvers. All the maneuvers are managed with the service section Draco thrusters. Crew hands off point, three meters in closing. Hands off. Copy, hands off. Capture confirmed. Copy, soft capture confirmed. And with that, we have a confirmed contact and soft capture. Dragon and Station were uh, flying 262 miles over western China. That docking time, 6.35 a.m. Central Time, 11.35 GMT.
soft capture ring retraction in progress. Double tap. Upcoming, the teams will command Crew Dragon to begin uh, the hard capture by um, commanding the hooks. Again, they will operate in two sets of six, so a total of 12 hooks. Uh, we'll hook in uh, and close, and we'll have confirmation of hard mate complete. From a live view of the International Space Station flight control room, you can see uh, we're losing some of those uh, live views from, from uh, the International Space Station, uh, but that mask has been turned off uh, to uh, uh, make sure we protect some of the communications equipment, the space to ground antennas, and auto track sensors aboard the station. Uh, so we should be regaining some views shortly. In the meantime, we did have confirmed uh, contact and capture at 6.35 a.m. Central Time, 11.35 GMT. And that was after uh, an on-time undocking from the original docking port at 5.45 a.m. Central Time. on your screen a shot of both the pressurized and unpressurized sections of Crew Dragon. The pressurized section being the conical portion at the top, that's where the crew is currently sitting in their seats. Uh, and the bottom half is the trunk, where, and that's where we place unpressurized cargo, uh, such as the International Docking Adapter uh, upon transportation from Earth to the International Space Station. That's where those were uh, placed for transportation to station, uh, where they were then removed and installed uh, uh, in, their now, um, in, their, in their now permanent homes. The trunk will be jettisoned um, whenever it's time for Crew Dragon to return home and allow the heat shield at the bottom of the pressurized section to be exposed and allow the Crew Dragon to splash down safely in the Atlantic Ocean. Dragon SpaceX, ring retraction is complete. Docking sequence is holding for MCS reconfiguration. With that side view of Crew Dragon, we have a great shot of the service section Draco thrusters that I mentioned earlier. Uh, they're the, the portholes there on the side of Crew Dragon. Uh, that is where the thrust comes out from the Draco thrusters, and those are the service section thrusters that we utilized for today's port relocation maneuvering. Station Endeavor on the big loop. MCS is configured, proceeding with hook driving. Station 
لابس دامك كافي With the soft uh, capture ring retracted before the hard mate sequence can begin, again, there are 12 hooks that are going to secure Crew Dragon Endeavor to the international docking adapter. Uh, teams here in Mission Control Houston configured the International Space Station to be on control moment gyro um, uh, attitude control. Uh, now that it's switched over to control moment gyros, they can begin the uh, hard uh, docking sequence uh, with the driving of the uh, first set of hooks. They're going to drive six at a time uh, uh, to make 12 hooks total, securing the Dragon Endeavor to the international docking adapter. And with that, we have confirmation that the first set of hooks are driving. As the uh, first set of hooks continue to drive, there are again two sets of hooks, six each, uh, to hard mate the Crew Dragon Endeavor to the International Space Station. A recap of today's activities. Uh, early this morning, the crew woke up at about 1 o'clock a.m. Central Time, uh, getting ready for their day, uh, eating some food, brushing their teeth, and getting suited up uh, to get ready to go inside Dragon and begin today's port relocation maneuver. Uh, after they ingressed the Dragon and closed the hatches, both on the Dragon side and uh, International Space Station, uh, NASA astronaut Mark Van de Heij closed the hatch on the station side, the APAS hatch, after affixing a docking target. Uh, the crew was suited up, performed leak checks in their SpaceX spacesuits, uh, and got ready for an undocking uh, of the original docking ports, where Crew Dragon Endeavor was uh, just uh, about an hour ago. The uh, Crew Dragon Endeavor and the four crew members inside, Shane Kimbrough, Megan MacArthur, uh, Tomah Pesquet, and Aki Hoshide, undocked at 5.45 a.m. Central Time uh, about an hour ago and made the transition to the new docking port, uh, making contact and capture with the port that you're seeing here, the Zenith or Space Facing Port, at 5.35 a.m. Central Time, completing the 50-minute minute maneuver uh, from the uh, original docking port to its new home, making uh, room on the forward harmony part uh, for the uh, uh, Boeing CST-100 Starliner to dock here uh, in uh, next week. Uh, July 30th is when it's set to launch, uh, making contact and capture with the International Space Station set 24 hours later, July 31st. At this point in time, the first set of hooks have closed and the second set are driving. Again, there are 12 in total and they operate in uh, two sets of six. And we're waiting for confirmation of the clo closure of the second set of hooks. Endeavor SpaceX on the big loop. Hard capture is complete. You are go to raise your visors. Copy hard capture complete. Visors up.
And with that, we have confirmation that the second set of hooks has uh, finished driving. So all 12 hooks now securing the Crew Dragon Endeavor to the International Space Station. Teams here will now uh, undergo a series of steps to pressurize the vestibule in between the Dragon Hatch and the Station Hatch, just like we saw uh, earlier during today's coverage with the depressurization of the original docking port. Uh, we'll see everything in reverse uh, to allow the pressurization to equalize, making sure everything is good before opening up the hatch and letting our four crew members inside Dragon back inside uh, the International Space Station. So now that uh, the Crew 2 NASA astronauts Shane Kimbrough and Megan MacArthur, European Space Agency astronaut Tomah Pesquet, and Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency astronaut Aki Hoshide have redocked with the International Space Station, we're going to wrap our live coverage of, J of Dragon's second port relocation maneuver. The crew will take some time now to get out of their suits and begin the process of opening up the hatches in about two hours. As mentioned earlier, the relocation has freed up Harmony's forward port uh, for the docking of another commercial space spacecraft built to carry humans, Boeing's CST-100 Starliner. This will be Boeing's second test flight of Starliner without crew as they seek to put the spacecraft through all the phases of a mission before flying people uh, inside of it for the first time. It's set to launch from Florida's Space Coast on July 30th and arrive at the space station about 24 hours later on July 31st. Once Starliner arrives and docks, we'll have another historic first with two commercial spacecraft built to fly humans docked to the space station at the same time.